So wolves select elk uh, really uh, sort of a two-step process. Uh, first, they need to find an elk herd. And once they find that herd, they have to identify an individual within that herd that they're most likely going to be able to grab and kill. And the way they go about that is by running through the herd, scanning for an individual based on the individual's flight performance. Is it running fast or is it running slow? Does it have some sort of noticeable limp of uh, some sort of abnormality that might set that particular individual apart from its neighbors in the herd? And so based on these cues, these cues of, of physical condition, wolves are able to select out an individual from the herd, which they then follow exclusively and to, you know, to the extent that they ignore all other elk and then they simply uh, hone in on that individual and grab it um, with sometimes the help of other wolves, sometimes by themselves. The reason why wolves are making these selection decisions is because if they make the wrong decision and they select out an elk that is healthy, the risk of being injured or even killed by that elk is quite high. So they want to avoid those elk in order to minimize the risk of injury to themselves and they want to select out a vulnerable elk to, uh, to minimize their chances of being killed while maximizing their chances of being able to kill that elk. Okay, And so they're looking for subtle cues of vulnerability and we think that some cues co correspond to the gait of the animal and the, the, the stride frequency, if, if, if the animal's running fast or if it's running slow. These are signals that wolves we think are using to discriminate between vulnerable elk and invulnerable elk. And they're making that choice in order to maximize their chances of a kill while minimizing the chances of being injured in the process.